Good morning, everyone. Um, today we're here to uh, learn all about, yep, so we're recording this session right now. We're gonna hear, we're here to learn all about renewable energy options and the financing opportunities that exist to um, fund your home energy projects or your home improvement projects. Today we've got on Brett Little from Green Home Institute and Blake Jones from the Clean Energy Credit Union. And without further ado, I'm gonna pass it over to Brett Little um, who is then going to hand the mic over to a couple of our other panel speakers, but it's good to ever have everyone here. Hey, uh, welcome. Uh, Brett Little here, uh, program manager at the Green Home Institute. Um, can you still see me? I lost my own feed, so. Yep. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, so um, thanks for coming back or, or tuning in for our third session here, just so you all know. Um, we have a recorded session where we had talked about um, uh, affordable, low-income housing, um, energy efficiency financing, um, and all that's available throughout uh, Grand Rapids and Kent County in the state of Michigan to, to do that if you need help there. And then our second session, and, and all these are recorded and available, we talked more about the technical aspects of what you can find in your home, um, where, where energy efficiency improvements can be made, where some of the work you can do yourself is, where it might be a little more challenging, you know, where you want to get an energy audit. And we talked a little bit about solar energy as well. So during this final session, we're going to be talking more about um, uh, traditional uh, market-based financial rebates um, and tax credits, utility rebates, and other strategies. You know, we absolutely think that if you're if you want to do this, right, you want to have a more energy efficient home. You want to reduce your utility bills, be healthier, reduce your carbon emissions, live a greener lifestyle. There are the tools there. They're all there. Um, it's just a matter of finding which one is best for you and then working, um, using them in, in unison to make it happen. I personally did it twice now with my own home, and I'll be adding some of that into the conversation. So um, we're going to uh, first going to be having uh, uh, Blake Jones from the Clean Energy Credit Union talk a little bit about um what they have to offer um and then we're going to have patrick um O'Boyle from michigan saves talk about their programming and then i'm going to go into um some of the uh, funding through the traditional mortgage route uh freddie mac green choice programs um uh, utility rebates and federal tax credits and how these could all be used together and what the next steps are so um, real excited to be having uh, uh, all of you join us and to have um, Blake and Pat on. And right now I'll turn it over to Blake. He'll go through a little bit and then, you know, please, you know, don't wait till the end. Like, let's talk now and ask him any questions you'd like and we'll go from there. So Blake, thanks. Great. Hello everyone. I'm Blake. I'm a volunteer for Clean Energy Credit Union and Clean Energy Credit Union, uh, we started it about uh, three or four years ago, but we did it partly because we saw how many people wanted more clean energy voters of, of, of all across the aisle and also consumers. A lot of people wanting more clean energy for their homes, for their businesses. Uh, however, not everyone can afford it. It's There's a large upfront cost. Usually, you know, to do a, a solar project or a geothermal project or a green home improvement, it can be like, like buying a car. And it's, buying cars is much easier when there's financing available. So we need financing for green home improvements too. However, the financing options are too expensive and there aren't enough of them. And uh, this is one of the reasons why we started the Credit Union to help provide really, really cheap financing for all these things. So Clean Energy Credit Union is an online only federally chartered credit union and we focus exclusively on loans for green home improvements for clean energy projects projects that save energy in your home uh, by being federally chartered we serve everywhere in the united states by being online only we don't have any branches any brick and mortar branches everyone does their their banking with us through mobile app or online banking or phone or chat so we serve everywhere in the united states um, we have lots of members in michigan and uh, we're also what's called a low income designated credit union because more than half of our members are low income. So we're also very, um, it's basically specialized in providing loans to uh, low income, low to moderate income folks. So credit union, just in case you don't know, it provides the same services as a bank, but it's a not-for-profit cooperative. So it's 
democratically owned and governed by its members. A bank exists to maximize profit for its stockholders. A credit union exists to serve its members and to pursue its mission. And clean energy credit union, our vision is a world where everyone can participate in the clean energy movement. And we help to manifest that vision in two ways. First is we wanna make it easier for everyone to afford using clean energy or saving energy by offering loans with the best terms in the country. So that is our goal to offer the very best loan terms for these types of projects. And then also like I'm a clean energy geek, I drive an electric vehicle, I ride my bike, I have an energy efficient home, I have solar panels on my roof, what else can I do? Well, I can also do my banking at Clean Energy Credit Union. So we wanna make it easier for everyone to invest in the clean energy movement. So it's like a federally insured way to invest in the clean energy movement because if you become a member of the credit union and you have a checking account or savings account, um, and for as little as $5, uh, you can become a member and all of your money is federally insured, just like it would be at Bank of America or Wells Fargo, but your deposits are only used to help someone else, to help another member do their clean energy project. So it's a federally insured way to, to invest in the clean energy movement. So ultimately, uh, we want to provide everyone the opportunity to support clean energy, protect the environment, improve the economy, um, whether they're getting a loan to do a clean energy project or whether they're doing their banking or both with us. So clean energy credit unions are unique, um, not in any one of these ways. There's over 5,000 credit unions in the country, but credit unions being tax exempt, uh, not having stockholders to pay dividends to, we take all those savings that we'd otherwise pay to stockholders and Uncle Sam and we pass them through to our, our members in the form of better loan rates. Uh, and then we have an exclusive focus on clean energy lending. This is all that we do. And the technology is changing rapidly. Incentives are changing rapidly. Since this is all we do, we're, we're able to adapt and provide new loan products and, and just make sure we understand you know, what, you know, what types of loans are, are best needed to do these types of projects. And then being online mobile only, not having brick and mortar branches, that's a lot of overhead that we're saving by not having brick and mortar branches. And we pass that through to our, our borrowers, our members in the form of better loan rates. So another difference between banks and credit unions is banks can serve the general public, credit unions cannot. You have to be eligible to join a credit union. Sometimes that's being in a, living in a certain geography or working at a certain company. With us, it's being a member of one of these organizations. So Green Home Institute, if you're a member of Green Home Institute or the Midwest Renewable Energy Association, uh, then you're automatically eligible to join Clean Energy Credit Union. Uh, some of these are, the membership fees are as, even free. I think Solar United Neighbors, it's free to join. But once you're a member of one of these organizations, then everyone in your family and your household are eligible to join Clean Energy Credit Union. So it's really easy to join one of these and become eligible. And then once you've joined Clean Energy Credit Union, you don't need to maintain your membership in these organizations. It's in the credit union world. It's once you're a member of a credit union, you're a member for life. Our loan products, we have residential solar PV system loans. So PV stands for photovoltaics or it's a, a solar electric system. We also have residential geothermal system loans, a geothermal system for homes. Uh, they're also called a ground source heat pump. Uh, we have green home improvement loans, which cover regular heat pumps, um, insulation, high efficiency windows, any equipment that's energy star rated. It basically has to be something that's gonna save your home energy or, or buying equipment that's going to uh, be more efficient than otherwise. We've got electric vehicle loans and then we've got e-bike loans, which have become really popular. Uh, later, we'll have credit cards, we'll have mortgages for uh, you know, high efficiency homes or net zero energy homes, sustainable homes. And then later, we're also planning to do uh, loans to businesses and nonprofits to help them do these same types of projects. Our loan terms, again, our goal is to have the best loan terms in the country. So if you are looking for financing, um, you know, can't hurt to give us a try and see what what loan rates, what loan terms we can offer. And for green home improvements, we can do those up to 10 years uh, for rates as low as 3.25%. For solar PV and geothermal system loans, we can do rates as low as 4.99% uh, for up to 20 years. And that really helps get the monthly payment down low. And oftentimes most of our members, we're seeing them uh, have utility bill savings that are the same or more than what their monthly loan payments are. So the cash flow neutral, cash flow positive because of all the money they're saving on their utility bills. And you can especially do that when you have a 12, 15 or 20 year loan term. And then we do electric vehicle loans as low as 2.39%, really, really cheap for those. None of these have a prepayment penalty. None of them encumber the equity in your home. So you're still free to get a second mortgage or to refinance your first mortgage. Um, the only collateral is the, is the, the project equipment itself and our rates are all available on our website if people wanted to see um, you know, different rates for the different loan terms and different options. 
Applying for a loan is very easy. You don't have to join the credit union until after you get approved for a loan. So it can't hurt to apply. And then if you get approved and you like the loan and want to move forward with your project, then you can join the credit union. But you go to our website, there's apply buttons all over the website, or you can go to cleanenergycu.org slash apply. And we've done, in, in since getting our federal charter three years ago, we've done over 4,000 loans and we haven't had a single delinquency. So even during the pandemic, um, you know, a lot of people were having trouble making loan payments, but the types of loans that we may, that we give, uh, we're helping people to, to, to save money. You know, they're, they're saving on their utility bills, or if, even if you have an electric vehicle, you're saving on gas. Uh, there's one tenth the number of moving parts in an electric vehicle. So maintenance isn't as high. We're, we're helping people to save money in addition to, you know, lowering their environmental footprint. And that's one of the reasons why we've done over 4,000 loans, don't have a single delinquency. These are just some photos that our members have sent in. They're really excited when they do clean energy project, whether it's electric bike or new uh, EV or solar panels on the roof. So we're excited when we get those photos. And then I also wanted to mention just our deposit products. We've got checking accounts and we've got, you know, you can see our themed debit card, which has a whole bunch of sustainability themes in it. Um, savings account, money market accounts that pay really good interest rates because I mentioned all of our, um, you know, cost advantages earlier on how we can offer really good rates on our on our loans and our deposits. Um, we have a snazzy mobile app and online banking. Everything can be done really easily. I, I'm one of those guys who still had a checkbook and was going into, you know, the local credit union branch. And then when I discovered I can deposit checks with my smartphone and I can do everything, I, you know, I haven't haven't had the need to go to a branch in a really long time. And clean edge credit union, all this technology makes that makes that easy to learn and easy to use. So we'd love it if, even if you're not doing a, uh, a green home improvement, if you'd consider, you know, doing your banking with us and helping to support our growth and doing more of these loans too. And that and that's it. Um, my contact information is there, Blake.Jones at cleanenergycu.org, or you can go to our website. There's a website contact form. Um, but thanks everyone for listening. And yeah, please please let us know if you're you're interested in joining Clean Energy Green. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Blake. Um, I guess real quick, um, is there anyone who has any specific questions for Blake right now? I did drop in uh, into the chat the direct link so you can go check them out. Again, there is a membership piece, different memberships Blake shown you. Um, one of them is the Green Home Institute membership that gets you there. So I dropped in a link to that, um, which also gives you know some other benefits, discounts and energy audits that we'll talk about a little bit later. But um, you know, before we move to the next presenter, are there are there anything that comes up here to anyone? And we, we're looking at the chat too, so. And maybe they'll follow up with you if yeah. uh, they have any further questions right now. So <laughs> I know it's early. <laughs> yep. Thanks again. And yeah. Yeah, please reach out yeah. to those questions. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Sincerely. Blake. Appreciate it. Um, Pat, are you with us? Hey, Pat. Hey, hey how, how are you guys doing? doing? Good, good. Um, well, we've got uh, we've got uh, Pat O'Boyle here, Michigan Saves. Pat, do you have a, a presentation, or I guess you just want to talk a little bit what what you guys have to offer? I can go either way if you want. Um, I've got a renewable that I put together recently that I can blast through that. Let me pull that up here real quick. Yeah. And we'll it available. So Michigan Saves is a nonprofit green bank. Thanks, Blake, for basically helping with what, what basically we, we run in conjunction with Clean Energy Credit Union. We are a Michigan-based nonprofit. Uh, we do very similar loans. We don't have a loan product for e-bikes. That was the one, and we've actually had that request, but that was one that definitely Clean Energy has that. Same thing, we are uh, hoping we have the best rates and terms available to uh, everyone. Uh, our rates start at 3.99, we do energy efficiency and renewable energy as well. So basically many of the same measures, so it's energy star rated, heat pumps, mini splits, geothermal, solar PV, insulation windows, we even have some roofing products that we can use. Uh, and in the state of Michigan, we, we hope to be the number one option. Uh, Clean Energy has a great product as well. Uh, we have a 
a group of about 590 contractors. And as a homeowner, it's a really nice uh, way to, to essentially vet what you're, what you're buying when you're looking to do uh, an energy efficiency, renewable energy, or just any improvement project with having that access to that contractor group that we essentially help manage and make sure that they have the proper uh, certifications that's needed to do the work in your home as well as give you energy audits or ideas to do other projects. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time grabbing my uh, presentation here. And I, and I did post a um, link for everyone in the chat too, so you can see. And essentially what the, the key that we're looking at is that, and Blake mentioned this, is the, that we have up to a 15 year term, we, we, we go down as low as 600 FICO score. And we have a group of six different or seven now residential lenders within the state of Michigan that lend their funds between 3.99 and 7% is our highest interest rate. Uh, that 15 year term is really nice. Again, as Blake mentioned for solar projects where you can really see the, 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 the payment equaling your utility payment. Um, we've done about, I think, I believe this month, we're going to cross the $300 million in lending in the state of Michigan alone, which was a, a great goal uh, when the program started uh, roughly 10 years ago. Um, we've, we've made some dramatic improvements, both to the contractors and hopefully to the products that are offered to the customer as well. Um, I'm open to questions. Like I said, I didn't have the presentation popped up. I didn't know if we were doing that. So I wanted to just get on here and, and again, I'll provide my contact information. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you're a homeowner, a business. Um, I'm happy to help and get you in contact with potentially the, the, a contractor and or at least just the product to help you get the project off the ground. Yeah, I just, you know, I and, and thanks for joining us, Pat. I just so you know, everyone, I invited Pat like last minute. So it's great that he, he popped in. Um, but I wanted to say, uh, you know, personally, I, I think when Michigan Saves first launched, I know I had to use a, the loan and I had to use it to couple together funding, right? So like the, 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 the HVAC manufacturer was like, hey, if you buy our system now, we'll give you this financing. And then there was the utility rebates and then a couple other things. So, you know, I was, I was able to do some air sealing and insulation um, among many other things, my, my former home. Uh, full home upgrade. And honestly, I wouldn't have been able to complete it without a, you know, Michigan saves loan. So I personally used it. And, and so I appreciate their efforts. And I know they've went a lot further since then. Um, can you are you uh, I know, because we we're going to talk a little bit more about some advanced technologies here, solar being one of them. Um, I assume you guys are also funding ground source heat pumps. How about battery systems? Yep, we're actually doing, um, we're, we've been in touch, we, we have close relationships with the utility companies as well, which is really helpful. And I don't know if anyone on the call happens to be in Jackson County. We just announced last week where Consumers Energy and one of our uh, partners, True Community Credit Union, formed a partnership that in Jackson County, between now and the end of October, if you do an energy efficiency improvement that is eligible for a rebate, so, so Michigan Saves doesn't encumber your ability to get a rebate, that consumers energy will actually pay your first three monthly payments in Jackson County if you're an electric and gas consumers customer in that county. So we've, we've kind of, we did a similar deal last year with Border Water and Light and consumers in Lansing. So we have some really cool ones that come up, but consumers has a focus now of doing some battery storage as well, uh, not even related to solar to do some uh, load and grid management. So yes, battery systems, I would honestly say probably three years ago, we did a couple batteries a year, maybe. And I just pulled the numbers for the last six months, we've done about 70 battery systems, many in conjunction with solar, but, but a handful of standalone as well. Mm -hmm. And if those of you aren't, you know, familiar, why, you know, why would I want a battery system? Well, there's a couple of things, you know, number one, um, your solar doesn't work. It's you, it's worthless when the grid goes down. So if you use them together, um, you can continue running and continue to use that solar. It has to be turned off. Otherwise you could, you know, uh, cause a shock a line worker, right? It could be a safety issue. So with the battery in place, you can still continue to power your house. So it's important. To, 
And then, you know, outside of the solar piece, you've got um, the utilities moving to their time of use program. I think we're all being pushed into it for those of us who are consumers, customers. Now we get billed more from two to seven, uh, right? We have to pay more money if we use energy during those times, which is when it's most, most of the fossil fuels, most of the carbon emissions, most of the costly plants come on. So with a battery system, you can charge it during the day uh, and then you can just run off of a battery from two to seven and still live a luxurious life of doing the, you know, running your dishwasher and not having to worry about not using energy from two to seven. So there are a lot of benefits to the, to those tools. Pat, um, and we're going to get into this a little bit later on the tax credit side, but do you all, um, for those who, you know, are trying to use the 26% tax credit for their solar or battery or geothermal, do you all have it set up to where like, you know, that could help assist? I mean, I, obviously they could use it to just pay their loan down, but do you take it to refinance the loan at all? Or is it just sort of an add on at the end? We, they, it was, that, that's a, a, thank you for teeing that one up. We took contractor feedback from our group of contractors, went to our lenders. Uh, so and I can actually speak on behalf of clean energy on this too. So, because I know their loan product. Uh, they actually have a, a tiered loan where you get a short-term loan for 26% of your project value, another product for 74% of your project total, which allows you to then pay off the short-term loan quickly. Our product is a little different. So all of our statewide lenders have the ability to do a one-time re-amortization and there is no minimum nor maximum of how much you are required to put down, nor is there a minimum or maximum of when you are required to put that down. So you could put it down month one, month 49, month 18, and you could put down your 26% federal tax credits. You could put down 20% and save 6%. You could put down 30% if you got a bonus check, regardless of your tax credit. So yes, it's a one-time complimentary Reamortization, where you 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 make the lump sum payment to the lender, the lender then recalculates your remaining principal and the monthly payments from there forward. So yeah, we it is not structured where it's two separate loans, but we definitely have that ability, and it's used fairly frequently. Great, yeah. Thanks for that's good. I just learned that too, so thanks for sharing that. Um, so we'll get into that tax credit and what that means in a little bit, but you basically. You get, you know, you get a third maybe back of your costs for solar, almost a third. And, you know, you, you, you have to wait a year or longer, right, depending on your tax structure. So, um, so that can be helpful. But um, so uh, the other question you had mentioned, you don't do e-bikes. So you do, Michigan Saves does fund electric cars now? No, I'm sorry. That, that is, I didn't know. So no e-bikes. No, we have, I think at some point we will. Do e-bikes, um, and, and I'm not sure on the cars, so I, I didn't catch it on, on theirs. Um, no, those are two we have not been able to to do. Okay, what about um, electric car infrastructure? Absolutely, I actually yeah. just met with Traverse City. We're helping uh, Traverse City with solar PV uh, charging stations, or I'm sorry, right. not solar P or EV charging stations. Right, and this isn't just residential, right? I mean, if you if someone's a small business owner, these are for municipality, small business, homeowner. Um, there's actually a company up in Traverse that's focusing on doing EV charging stations, uh, residential or commercial. Yeah, cool. Um, and, uh, you know, for, for people who are trying to make a financial decision here, I mean, obviously you can tell them what their payment's gonna be, right? But if they're trying to figure out what their payment is in junction with what their savings or renewable generation is, what resources do you have for folks? Like if they're trying to say, well, look, if I have to pay Michigan saves an additional $50 a month, whatever it might be to pay my loan down, how much am I going to save in my energy bill or generate to make sure I can make that payment? Like, do you have resources for that? We do not. We leave that because each contractor tends to want to sell it and or offer different services. There's actually very few that do full everything, you know, a one-stop shop of right. air sealing, insulation, heat pumps, windows, and solar. So it, it's really a, it's best. We actually are coming out and everybody on this call, and I'm definitely going to ask you, Brett, if you'll do this. We're, we're coming out with a guide because we actually have a 25-year term that is likely to come for solar specifically. 
clones in the near future. But in conjunction with that, I've been working with Michigan Public Service Commission and our contractors on questions to ask your solar installer of how to select a solar installer. So we have a bunch of feedback of people that understand it much better than I do, mm -hmm. that we are gonna then put this resource out that we want everyone in Michigan and any other Great Lakes Renewable Energy Association is gonna publish it. Anyone in those organizations to please, if, if you're interested in solar projects, read this article. Um, and oddly enough, we did one about three years ago. And when we read it, to put it back out with the solar loan product, it looked like it was written 15 years ago. Like <laughs> what has changed in the last three years? There was no mention of battery storage three yeah. years ago in this article. Um, so, but please reach out to me or hopefully Brett will be able to distribute it. I mean, it, I want you to read through it and make sure you believe in what it says as well, but uh, it's coming soon within the next couple of weeks. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm sure I'll learn something and I'd love to pass it out and, and get it out there. So thanks for saying that. But it, it, um, one of the questions will be that is, you know, hey, what is my, please help me understand what I'm going to be saving on my utilities. Right. Um, so let's say you've got your favorite contractor, you found someone you really want to hire, work with, uh, but they're not in your network. I mean, how can you get them in? How easy is it? Yep, it's we have a one-time sign-up fee of fifty dollars. We also need to make sure that they have the licenses needed. They're in good standing with the state of Michigan, uh, and insurance documents. That basically we need to vet out. We, we will vet that contractor for you at least on the business side of things, mm -hmm. and we can add. It's usually a twenty-four hour process. Myself, Todd O'Grady, or Mac McCabe can handle that in under twenty-four hours. So please reach out. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, uh, I mean, does anybody have any questions here on the line that they want to ask before before we move on to some other items? Pat, I just had a quick question. I missed, um, I, I missed when you you started. Uh, you you mentioned information coming out. Could you just maybe restate um, where I could find that when it does? You said it in the next couple of weeks. Where where again could I find that? You, you can shoot me an email, and if you'd like to get on our uh, Smart Energy News, we can add you to that, or we will post it on our website. I imagine we're going to do social media, Michigan Saves. Um, it's just a really, if, if anyone's interested in solar and your friends, network, your family, your neighbors, it's just a really good piece to, um, it, it will be. Uh, again, I'm, I'm still compiling. We had, like I said, Michigan Public Service Commission. We had a bunch of people weigh in, and now we're trying to put it it all in a pretty PDF. Pat, I dropped your email into the chat, but can you just reiterate it for everybody? Yeah, it's poboyle at michigansaves.org. And then I'll also throw, I work off my mobile phone. I mean, luckily that's why I was able to join you guys today. I had to move some stuff around, but um, don't hesitate. I prefer to hear from customers and or contractors before they make a decision rather than I made this decision, can you help? And we, because we get some of that where, hey, I made a decision, I don't like the loan product I got in. Clean energy is a good one too. So, so please check them as well as us. Um, we can't do a refinance if you end up in a poor loan somewhere else. So do your research, always get a couple bids. You know, Even if you have your favorite contractor, check another one just to make sure apples are apples. Did anyone else have any other questions for Pat? Otherwise, we've got uh, michigansaves.org. We got the link there. You can check it out. I got his email here in the link. So yeah, thanks. Pat, thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate thanks it. Thanks for including us. Sorry, I was a few minutes late. Oh, yeah. No, it's all right. Have a great day. It's good to see you. All right. Um, so I am going to take it from here. Um, so, you know, right now we, um, we're in a very unique situation, um, a very, in some ways, unfortunate situation for those who are looking to buy a new home or build a new home. It's, you know, I don't want to, um, I don't want to set aside that fact that the, the, the you know, it, it, it is very difficult for those folks who are in that situation um, and it, it needs to be fixed. But on the flip side, um, what we have going on is a situation where we've got home values continuing to go through the roof every day. They keep going up, um, which does have negative consequences. 
we have interest rates that are continuing to plummet or stay stabilized at very low. And because of this unique scenario, anyone who's you know already in a home, already built some equity into your home, what you have now is the ability to use the traditional mortgage market to um, move on uh, energy efficiency, uh, clean energy, solar battery. And I'm saying this because I just did it. And I used traditional mortgage funding, refinanced my mortgage of only four years. I mean, it was only four years old. It wasn't even that I didn't build that much equity. And what I was able to do just basics was I was able to decrease uh, or I, I, what I did is I increased the cost of my mortgage by 40 bucks a month. So for me, it was all about how much can I pay a month because I have limited resources. I, I, mean, I think most of us have limited money we can use a month, right? So for me, I was like, all right, I'm going to pay 40 more dollars a month to refinance my mortgage. Um, but based on the energy efficiency work we're going to do, which was um, brand new heating and cooling systems, solar power, uh, batteries, some ventilation and water conservation work, I am going to reduce on average across the year $50 a month in my utility bills. So my mortgage goes up 40, my utility savings go up 50. That's 10 bucks a month now in my pocket. And what do I have? Uh, I have brand new HVAC systems that um, uh, are all electric heat pump systems. Um, so that basically means they work in reverse in the wintertime, pulling heat out of the air. Uh, no gas line, which is gas can be a health issue in your house. It can be a safety issue. Um, and uh, it's not efficient anymore. It's, on its, it's an old technology on its way out. Um, and then, you know, again, brand new HVAC, so super energy efficient systems, some improved ventilation systems, which don't save any money, but, you know, working from home, it keeps you healthier. And with, you know, viruses spreading through the air, even more important. Um, and, you know, reducing my water consumption significantly, which, you know, water bills are going up all over the place. And then again, adding solar power and, and battery systems, um, which now we're getting charged between two and seven for energy use, even more from utility companies. Now I can have been able to shift my load away from two and seven and only use energy you know, on the peripherals um, with that. And so because of this, because of the increased value in homes and lower interest rates, I was able to do this um, and so the first thing that I had looked at um, was something called the, uh, the uh, Green Choice Mortgage. So I'm going to share my screen here with you all. But this is a mortgage product through Freddie Mac uh, that's available now. Um, and uh, I don't know. Let's see if we can. Uh, Katie, can we hear this video? I don't think we can. Wait. No. Um, and there's a way. Oh, wait, can we? No, we can. You can't hear that video. Okay, that's fine. So this is Freddie Mac Green Choice. Um, and basically what this allows you to do, and, and this was something I looked at, you know, in 2019 before we were in this situation. But basically what this allows you to do is to go to your lender and say, look, we want to do energy efficiency. We want to do green. We want to do solar. Um and we need to borrow a little more money because what happens is, you know, a lot of the times the homes don't get appraised uh, appropriately. The appraisers are still learning. They're being educated. So this allows you to have um, to show an energy efficiency rating on your house uh, and that, you know, you can go out and say, we want to borrow this additional money to save money on our utility bills and do it through this special uh, mortgage program, which isn't that, I mean, it's not anything too unique. It's not, an, it's not too many hoops you jump through. And, you know, if done right, the lender can then let you borrow more money, which is not even a problem anymore because of the high, low interest rates and the higher values, right? It, so, so this is something I'm saying to the people of the future of once this, you know, calms down. But if you're trying to do a significant energy efficiency boost to your house, you know, solar, net zero energy, those kinds of things. Um, this is a great resource and I almost used it, but unfortunately I uh, needed to borrow a little bit more for a failing water system that I had, which required me to step up to a new product. But 
Um, so this allows you to work with a, a, a certified energy assessor, which we have a ton of them we can get you in touch with, and to work with a lender to, you know, to, to borrow those um, additional funds. So I'm going to drop a link into the, um, into the chat for everybody. Um, and uh, sorry, sometimes they make it hard to see chat while you're sharing your screen. But check that out. Um, I wanted to say that, you know, you got to talk, if you have a lender that you like, you need to go to them and demand this product. They have to accept it and bring it on. They don't, not all the lenders have it, but I did want to say a huge thanks to United Bank, who is the only one in Michigan that I know of, and they're right in Grand Rapids, that does have this product um, available because I worked with them to bring it on. And so you can reach out to them. I have a contact there if you'd like. But we were very thankful for their support. We ended up using a construction loan uh, through United Bank. Um, and you could still use a traditional mortgage. It just depends on how much money you want to borrow, how deep of an energy efficiency improvement program you want to do. But we, um, we, we ended up going to the construction loan route. We were working with a different bank originally, but they required that we had someone with a builder's license to do the construction loan. And I was... GCing my own project, I was managing, and I've done that before. I was comfortable doing it. I wasn't in my house. I wasn't changing the structure. I was just doing heating, cooling, solar, plumbing. I just needed those folks to have their licenses, but it didn't make sense. So, if you're doing a structural change or weatherization change or an addition, you want to have someone with that builder's license. So then it makes sense. But anyway, we went to the to United, and they said, "Look, you don't need to have that person." with a, uh, a construction loan. You don't need them. You can do it yourself. You just have a little bit of a worse interest rate, which at the, you know, for now the interest rates are so low, it doesn't matter. So we worked with them on a construction loan. And again, we were able to finance, you know, deep energy efficiency, where again, we're cutting our energy bill by 50 bucks a month. And we're just raising our mortgage costs by $40 a month, given the unique situation. And I think, you know, go to your lender, go talk to them, say, or go to United and say, we want to finance energy efficiency. We realize now is the time to do that. We realize we're going to get these savings. And here's the other bonus. We talked with the appraiser because you have to have an appraiser out. And, you know, we worked with them to get them to fill out something called the green appraisal addendum, which we can share with you with some more information. And in the green appraisal addendum, it has all the additional energy efficiency features in it. And basically, because of the solar power we added to our house, they were able to um, give our home a 3% value increase for that solar energy. Now, not all appraisers will do that. Some will give more than three. I think three was on the low end. Um, and that, again, if the appraiser can give more value, you can borrow even more uh, to do more solar, to do more battery, to do a geothermal system, you name it. Um, the, the money is there. Uh, and so you just have to educate the appraisers, work with them and understand how it works. And we have more resources and training uh, on how to do that. Um, but this, I believe, you know, isn't uh, in the past, wasn't a great way to do this. But given our low interest rates our increased home value, you can use home equity line of credit to do this on your house. Um, you can use, again, the traditional mortgage refinance. You can use the construction loan or you can use green choice. And, you know, I wanted to just, you know, United Bank is more familiar with this now. We have a contact there we can put you in touch with. Other banks might look at you and say, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've never heard of this before. Um, but the reality is, is that if, once you show them, oh, it's just a home improvement project and these are the items we're improving, they'll be like, well, that makes sense. We can do that. Um, so that's that's another thing I wanted to share. That's something I personally did, and, and it worked very successful for me. And um, you know, we hope that uh, we can use this as a resource with Clean Energy Credit Union, with Michigan Saves. Um, you know, these are all different tools you can use now uh, to achieve these goals. Um, so uh, I'm going to keep. You know, I'm looking at the chat here, and I got a few more things I want to go through before we wrap up. So let me know if you have any questions for me. Otherwise, um, you know, again, United Bank, reach out to them and I'll get you a, a contact there. So, um, so 
you know, as far as incentives go, um, you know, the, the website D S I R it's like desire USA basically, but spell a little, little differently here. And I'll drop a link in the chat. This is where all the um, incentives are. They try to like keep them all up to date here and keep this program up to date. And if you click on Michigan, you'll be able to see a nice list of all sorts of incentives, whether they're federal or Michigan based incentives or local, you know, when they were created, when is it really out to date, up, outdated? And then what kind of incentive is it? Is it a corporate tax incentive? Is it a residential incentive? Is it a grant? And you can even filter it down here to, um, you know, figure out more things like where is it coverage? What's the zip code? It's got a lot of resources and they keep it up to date. There's a lot of stuff here. The one I want to focus on is the renewable residential renewable energy tax credit, which has been extended through 2023. So we were talking a little bit about this with Pat. Basically, this is 26% tax credit back to you for solar, geothermal, ground source, heat pump, heating and cooling electric systems um, and, and battery systems that are connected to the solar. And if you're redoing your roof and you do it right and you got to talk to your tax account for this, you can actually get the tax credit if you put solar on your roof in junction with the new roof, you could actually extend it potentially to the roof as well. So it could be a big win. Um, and so, uh, uh, so the way this credit works is you basically have to, and, and I'm not an accountant and don't understand it all, and I'm going to be finding out next year how it works for me. Um, but you basically, uh, you know, you, you, you basically, um, if you have a tax liability the following year or, you know, for this year, when you put this, the year you put the solar on, or the ground source heat pump, that liability is sort of eaten away and you don't have to end up paying it. Uh, and so maybe you don't fulfill the full 26% uh, that year, at, you know, so maybe you just do 12%. Well, it'll carry over for, you know, several more years on your liability. Mm -hmm. So if you run a business, you started a small business or you, whatever, you've come into some income or however it works, you know, talk to your accountant, talk to your TurboTax rep, <laughs> uh, you know, you can use this. So it doesn't work on the front end. There's no payment on the front end. It only is paid on the back end. So you still, if you look at a solar installer's contract, they're going to show you how much money it costs. And then underneath, they're going to say, well, at the end of the day, it's $6,000 less because of the tax credit. Well, it can be a little misleading. They're not trying to do that, but it can be a little misleading that you would think, Oh, it's six thousand dollars less on their on their invoice. Well, that's not true. You still pay it. You still got to finance it through one of these wonderful programs: Clean Energy Credit Union, Michigan Saves, your mortgage. But then you get the money back later. And then, as I said, you know, Clean Energy, Michigan Saves—they've been great to where they'll allow you to potentially, in some capacity, use that money to knock the loan down further if you want, or it's just you know more money in your in your pocket. So. This is available through 2023. It likely will be extended beyond that. It keeps, you know, it's it's popular among all sides to extend these tax credits, um, if not improve them, because actually geothermal was removed from it and then brought back in as of last year. So, so that was good news. Um, and then another tax credit, just on the energy efficiency side, is um, you can pick up 500 bucks. So. There's basically a list of energy efficiency things you need to do, windows, heating and cooling, insulation, you know, you name it. And then you go into the home energy efficiency tax credit. I got it. You can only get it once. It's the weird thing. You could move through five different homes and do five different upgrades. But for whatever strange reason, you're only allowed to use it on one home. So I used it on my first home in 2012, got the 500 bucks, boom, you know, it's an easy $500 that you can incorporate in your project are up to 500, depending on, you know, how much energy efficiency work um, and improvements you're, uh, you're doing. Um, so we talked a little bit about this in the other session. Um, but again, you know, if you're trying to figure out how, what energy efficiency work needs to be done, whether you should be doing solar, you name it, locally here in Grand Rapids, we can do um, a third party. So we're not we're not a contractor, so it's 100% third party. Um, 
uh, a home energy uh, audit, home energy score on your home. It'll help you understand what needs to be done, what the best place to start is, and where to go. And again, we're not selling you anything, which makes us different from a contractor who might audit your house, uh, and we're a nonprofit. So um, if you become a member of GHI, not only do you get access to the Clean Energy Credit Union, but you also get 100 bucks off your um, home energy assessment and audit to help you figure that out. Um, but there are other resources out there. Um, so uh, from the utility standpoint, and we talked about this in their other sessions, uh, Consumers Energy and DTE will do a consultation on your house, virtual or in person. Um, now, again, when they're doing those consultations, remember Consumers Energy is only looking at your electric. So don't, so they're not gonna look at your gas. They're not gonna help you there. They just, that's not their job. And DTE is only looking at your gas side. They're not gonna look at your air conditioning and your lighting and all that. So it's important to do both if you're gonna do them. And to some extent, those can be um, you know, free assessments depending on some things. But then you can go to their website here and I'll drop a link. Uh, oh, I forgot to share with you. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna share with you the solar link too. So you don't have to go searching around on that website for it. Um, but uh, you know, on consumers energy, you go to the save money, save energy section, and you can see what is it that you need, and then what are the rebates that are available. So you can see, um, you know, if you want to improve your appliances, um, you know, there's some some special rebates available to to get for Energy Star appliances. There's also, what else do you wanna look for when you're doing an appliance? You wanna look for appliances that have um, the ability to load the dishwasher, load the clothes washer, and then tell it not to run until what? Seven o'clock, right? You don't wanna run it between two and seven because again, you're gonna get charged more to use electricity between those times. We don't, we wanna shift our loads away from those times. So you wanna get an appliance that's not only Energy Star certified, but that has the ability for you to preload it because you're busy, walk away, tell it to run at seven o'clock, have it turn on and then shift your loads away from that two to seven o'clock time period. Um, so there's all sorts of rebates here on the electric side, you can check it out. Um, and if you've got, I believe if you've got air conditioning, you know, consumers wants to help, you know, reduce, uh, help you improve your insulation too because that keeps cooling in the house. So they have some you know, useful resources there for that too. Um, and then the same with DTE Energy. Again, yeah, they've, uh, uh, you can get a contractor in to do an assessment and they've got rebates for furnaces, for water heaters, which are typically gas systems. Um, again, they've got some pricing here for their assessments and they've got some funds if you can reduce your uh, leakiness of your house and the energy efficiency of your home um, as well. And uh, you know, be able to do that. And then if you're planning to uh, build a new home, um, you know, which I know is kind of pricey right now, uh, Consumers Energy does have some resources for you there too. Uh, you know, basically you want to get, um, uh, an energy, an energy model done on your new construction home, a HERS score. It's something we can help with, and um, you can get all the way up to two thousand dollars in rebates for traditional energy efficiency systems uh, on a new home. Or Consumers has a new program where if you do a super energy efficient all electric home you can get $10,000 back, which you know, to some extent could nearly pay for a good portion of your heating and cooling systems. So if you're thinking about building a new home and you're interested in that, let us know. You gotta, we gotta do some design review in the beginning, but it's up to 10,000 bucks. It's a special pilot through the end of about a year from now. So hopefully you're planning your project now and ready to launch it. And then we can take a look at what your ideas are and they may continue it after June, 2022, but you have to have your house pretty much built by then. So you've got to start thinking now, you know, as builders are backed up on all that. And you can also do a major gut renovation and potentially use that $10,000 program, but that's a case by case basis. So you have to let us know. So, um, so yeah, so there's all these resources out there and you can use them in junction. You know, we had a guy in Grand Rapids 
building a brand new home. And again, you know, things have changed since then, but the lender didn't, um, you know, the lender didn't, uh, didn't have the ability to help them finance their solar power. So they worked with us to get in touch with Michigan Saves. They built their new home through the construction process with their lender. They used Michigan Saves to add the solar on top and create an additional loan. So, and then they got some rebates from the utility. So all these programs, they work together. Uh, you can use them all in tandem to, you know, to help, you know, chip away, uh, you know, all your costs and all that. And so that's kind of the message we want to get out there to, to, to be able to do that. So um, we have more information and trainings on our website, greenhomeinstitute.org. We do weekly Wednesday webinars, um, not this Wednesday, we took it off to do this, but at noon Eastern, there are free sessions on green building education and training. Um, we're headquartered right here in GR and now we're starting to get back out there in person, but we're in homes all the time doing assessments here in Grand Rapids to help people make um, you know, more sustainable choices um, in the renovation and construction of the places we live. So you can check us out at greenhomeinstitute.org and I can stick around here for a couple more minutes if anyone has any questions. So thank you. Thank you so much, Brett. It's uh, it's funny that sometimes when we go into these webinars, I'm not exactly sure what information is there, but then it's like, oh my gosh, it's like I'm learning right alongside everyone. Like there is so much out there. There's so much to know. And so I really appreciate you sharing um, all of your knowledge and expertise. Um, Bianca and Dean, I don't know whether there's any lingering questions. Um, so feel free to, yeah, fire away. Sure, I could shoot a question uh, to Brett. So um, I've, <laughs> I'll try to make this quick. So I've been kind of paying attention to some of these emails that we've been getting from GRPS. Um, bought a house about two years ago. Uh, it's um, 50, 60 years old. So we're, we're thinking about um, you know, investing heavily into it. And one of those options would be the first of them being solar. Um, but the question I want to ask is, sounds like, so sounds like you've had some other, there's been some other webinars. Um, so the first question would be like, how, how would I access, do I have access to finding those as well? Um, oh, yes. to, okay. I'll, I'll put some links here in the chat. Great. And then the second question I have, so if, if I'm kind of new to exploring this, uh, while it's like super interesting and, and that's something that I, or, or we really want to look forward, probably a good first step might be getting that um, somebody here to give like some sort of assessment and then using that information to kind of figure out the next step, next steps after that. Would that be a good way to summarize that or? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, and, and, and Katie just, posted in the chat to um, the session we did two weeks ago, which kind of goes through all the things you might find in your house and how to do a self-assessment on your own. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, that's a lot if it's not something you do all the time. And so, yeah, we have a, a home energy um, assessor who's out there doing all of this work and kind of giving you a full review of what kind of issues in your house you might have and also what opportunities and where to best spend your money um, and so, yeah, we have to, you know, that, that would be what I'd recommend. There's, we have it, there's others who do it. And then of course, like I said, DTE and consumers also have to some extent freer or, or cheaper assessments than we do. Um, but, you know, you get what you pay for. So they're only looking at a certain thing and, you know, we're addressing things beyond energy. We're looking at potential ventilation problems, or if there's any other, you know, issues with your house that might be a water leak issue or something that, you know, you might want to address before you even look at energy. Um, we kind of look holistically at the home, so. Sure. And then, um, and then on on your website, I would imagine like there would be like a like what when I could schedule that if I wanted to ask Green Home Institute to come out, and then like the, it would show the costs and, and of that as well. Yeah, the I mean, I think that I don't think the, the cost should be on. It's three hundred dollars. I can say that for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and uh, it, uh, yeah, we have a link on our website where you just kind of fill out a quick form and then it, you know, it, it'll, you can say, hey, this is when I'm available most of the time and we'll connect you with our auditor. So, okay. Very, very, very cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw um, 
Bianca chiming in here and was interested in solar, I just wanted to let you know, we ended up working um, with the green panel for our solar. They actually just launched a solar education center in Byron Center. Um, so if you feel like, feel comfortable going into a building or whatever, um, you can go in there and check out their space and what they have to offer. They're actually headquartered in Novi, um, but they, they have a representative out on the outside of Grand Rapids and you can check them out. They're the ones who worked on my personal project. They're great. They can come out and do a free solar site assessment of your home. Um, and then, um, you know, there's some other great folks out there, Michigan Solar Solutions, uh, Michigan Solar uh, Winds LLC. Um, yeah, there's a lot of great solar companies. If you're really getting into this, there is a user group on Facebook um, that it's called the uh, uh, Michigan Solar Group, I think it is, and I can place the link to it. And it's a great place to talk to people who already have solar. They're up there sharing stories about what they did, how they did it, how they paid for it. And it's a really cool group to where you can just comfortably post a question and be new to the whole thing and know nothing. And, you know, you get a lot of great people from around the state just sharing their experience with installers or what they did or, or you name it. So um, it's the My Solar Users group. I'm going to post it in there if you want to keep doing some more research. So. Hey, thanks everyone for being here. Thank you, seriously. Um, and so I guess if anyone has any lingering questions, I um, you can connect with me. I can send something back to Brett unless we already have his contact info in the chat, but um, not, here's my email. Um, yeah, there's mine in the chat too, so. Perfect, I'm bad at typing and speaking, but um, we really appreciate having you here today, Brett, and for all these, the entire series, it's been like, there's a wealth of information that's all available on our website and uh, and then also at Green Home Institute, if you wanna be in touch with Brett. Um, and we really appreciate all the info and expertise you've shared with us. So if everyone has a great day, uh, we'll sign off, but um, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, thank so. we'll see you. We'll see you in a bit, Katie, <laughs> bye. <laughs>